Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This reading will be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their energies towards you? What are their intentions and next possible actions? We'll cover all of that in this reading. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every single Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you what applies to your situation and leave the rest. You can also check out your playlist. I have a playlist full of Aquarius readings and there's bound to be a video there that re resonates with you. All of the playlists are linked in the description box. So let's jump right in Aquarius. Spirit Angels Guides for Aquarius. Regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know? about this individual's energies toward Aquarius spirit, the person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with at this time spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? About this person's energies towards Aquarius. What do we need to know? Okay, we have the Hierophant. Taurus energy, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Swords. Ooh, okay. So with the High Priestess and the Nine of Swords, um, I'm getting, I know that that's not necessarily what these cards mean together, but I instantly thought that someone is spiraling by what they don't know. It's like since they don't have all of the facts or all of the information, since they're in the dark, I'm picturing someone in the dark, it just makes their fears worse. We'll see if that means anything when I start clarifying, but that's the energy I'm picking up right away. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Well, the higher font is a card about contracts, commitments. Um, actually, let me get some energies out here. So you could be dealing with someone who wants to be in a commitment with you, is in a commitment with you, but the higher font is also about being very traditional um this is someone that follows the rules they like to do the right thing you know um follow a sequence so this would be somebody that would want to do like a traditional courtship or something like that so we'll see what all of this is about when we kind of clarify all of the energies together but first let's get some energies on the board spirit tell me more about this person's energies what do we need to know about this person's energies when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? Closed off, exactly. Literally like someone's in the dark. That's what I was picturing. Guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. So I, I seriously feel like someone's in the dark. Time out, time is of the essence as well. So this could be a timing issue. Maybe you haven't talked to this person in a long time. Maybe they don't have access to you. Maybe someone's emotionally closed off here. I see all of those things so far. Okay, so then let me get a romance angel as well. Oh, that one just flew out. What's this? Getting to know each other. Yeah, I feel like there needs to be some sort of communication that takes place here because someone is in the dark. There's not enough clarity about something. And this could also be your energy, Aquarius, that I'm picking up on. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. But this is a how they feel reading. So we'll focus on them. Okay, tell me more about the energies that this person's bringing to this connection with Aquarius spirit. Chemistry and codependency. Okay, yeah, there's too much going on. I feel like this is somebody who, okay, codependency, I don't really agree with that card like the terminology here, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like it's more unhealthy habits than, you know, specifically addictions. Um, it's it's almost like, again, with, with the, the chemistry is like, I'm picturing someone that's just, the feelings are very strong. And so when I see these two together, it's almost like someone's feelings are plaguing them or messing with their head. Let's put these up here bottom of the deck we have deception someone's wearing a false self what is going on someone's wearing a false self mask what is going on here um aquarius 
either someone's deceiving themselves or deceiving you, but I just don't pick up that it's like on purpose. It's almost like someone is telling themselves the worst possible story. Let's clarify this because this is getting kind of crazy here. Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, for Aquarius on these energies? Clarity, please, guidance, insight on these, on these energies for Aquarius. Let's start with this Hierophant energy. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Three of Swords. Heartbreak, disappointment. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Something happened between you and this person. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Oh my gosh. Yeah, something happened. I feel like this is someone that really screwed up or lied or just didn't go about a situation the right way, Aquarius. They caused pain through their actions. Let's see, what else? Maybe they hurt a commitment, a commitment that was otherwise, you know, stable and strong. Or some a connection that had the potential to be long-term was ruined or tainted tell me more about the higher font okay we have the seven of wands and the four of wands yeah and then the king of wands again at the bottom of the deck i feel like someone acted without thinking this king of wands now typically the king of wands is somebody that they can be quick to act but because they're a king they're usually very level-headed about you know, it's a calculator risk. It's not like they're just completely crazy about what they're doing all the time and they don't really think at all about what they're, where they're headed or whatever. I feel like this person, I'm not picking that up though. It's like this person, and there's the Eight of Swords behind that. It's almost like, yeah, their mind, something's up with this person's way of thinking. It's like they played themselves. That's, you know, it... I don't know exactly how this happened, but it could have been that they deceived you or mistreated you. And in turn, they just ruined everything for, for themselves, right? They could have also, there, or I guess I should say, there could have also been a big misunderstanding here where this person could have assumed something about you, Aquarius, or about the situation. And that was a lie. Four of Wands is telling me, I'm, I'm picturing like a home. Something must have happened at home or within a home-like place. So somewhere where someone feels very comfortable, um, a place of, you know, there's like an, uh, I'm getting like an intimate setting or something like that. I feel like this happened somewhere that was almost sacred in a way. And it does not have to be like a hospital, um, not a hospital, like a church. I'm not picking that up, but more like this was maybe your home together or just a special place for one of you or both of you. Something happened. Okay, let's keep going. Tell me about the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Eight of cups. Yeah, I feel like either you walked away or you're thinking about walking away. Maybe they walked away from you because they thought they were right and they weren't. Tell me more. The Empress and the Two of Swords. There's the Emperor, Aries Energy, Four of Swords and the World. The Magician and the World. Okay. Well, the Magician and the Emperor, they would actually, I mean, they take action. Four of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting here... Tell me about this two of swords. I feel like this person is recognizing that they were wrong. But we'll see if I'm right about that. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. The hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the two of swords. What do we need to know about the two of swords? And death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like something ended and this person has been kind of closed off, undecided, guarded, blinded you know all of those things about this until now maybe their intuition is speaking to them maybe they're realizing something at the more that they dig deep here with the hermit 
the more they're realizing something. Because, yeah, Ten of Wands. Because the Nine of Swords is here. So if someone can't sleep, can't rest. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. There's anxiety. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Someone played themselves here is what I'm seeing. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. They could have also ran away from the problem instead of fixed the problem. There could have been an interference here with the Three of Pentacles. But what I'm seeing more than anything is someone that wants to work on things. But now they're like, I really, really messed up here. Is that even possible to work on things? Because I'm seeing you as this Queen of Pentacles. They're showing up as a King of Wands, but you're Queen of Pentacles, stable. And you even, like in this picture, in this deck, she looks very like unbothered, regal. They're doing just fine by themselves. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Some of you could have been married to this person. The Nine of Cups, yeah. So this is someone's wish. Queen of Wands, yeah. I feel like this is their, you could be dealing with a fire sign. It's not have to be, but I feel like this is your person's energy. Like they desperately want this to work on things. There's a page of Pentacles to build something. But it's like, I don't know. Why did they have to go about things in the way that they did? I just don't get it. Can I find out a little bit more about this person's energies? Person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know about this person's energies? What do we need to know, spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies? Oh my God, that's way too many. Okay. I want a second chance, first card out. It's all my fault. I'm working on myself and I'm having doubts. Yeah, their mind, their mind is playing games with them. And you know, it's sad because I feel like they did it to themselves. I just keep getting that energy that this is someone that they brought this on themselves. You know, it didn't have to be this way. But this seven of swords, this three of swords is like, it's really hard to come back from that. What are their true intentions? Next possible actions towards Aquarius or this connection? Spirit. What are their true intentions? Next possible actions towards this connection. Their true intentions. Ah. Their true intentions. Next possible actions towards Aquarius or this connection. Let's see. To move these up. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, Four of Coin, the Moon, Pisces energy, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Well, there's a Two of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. I feel like when I see a the Two of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone is holding back a little bit because they're not sure. The Moon, Pisces energy. Again, there's a lack of clarity. There's like a mystery or an unknown, something hidden. Um, I feel like this King of Cups, Queen of Swords is almost like they want to be honest about how they feel. But let's start with this Moon. Tell me about the Moon. Why is the Moon here? Why is the moon here? Ace of Wands. Why is the moon here? Ace of Cups. Look at this energy. I feel like they want this, but they don't know if you do. Bottom of the deck, I have the world. A new beginning, a new cycle. You know, I feel like this is their intention. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, but they're in the dark about where you come in or how this will work with you. 
Ah. Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to look at these. I'm going to put them back. Uh, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Two of Cups at the bottom, Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like they just want to fix things. They want to fix things because perhaps they feel a special connection with you. There's a Wheel of Fortune. Two of Cups, Six of Cups, you know. And I think they want to show up as a King of Pentacles, but it's a little too late for that. Or it's just, I don't know. Maybe they have been working on themselves, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Tell me more about the moon. Because I picture you like this, Aquarius. I picture you unbothered. Look at the energy here of these women. Not, not to say that you have to be a woman, but look at the energy that they're showing in both of these cards. It's almost like eh, they're not even looking straight ahead at whoever's looking at them. That's kind of the energy I'm picking up for you. I mean, I could be wrong about that. Maybe you do. You have some sort of interest in this person, depending on how they come towards you. Tell me more about the moon. And one more, please, for the moon. Yeah, four of pentacles. Yet another person that's just kind of looking at the side. I feel like the thing is, either they're blocked or they don't have access to you or you haven't talked to them in a long time. They don't know how you feel. And I also feel it's because they're clammed shut with the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like they could be the ones closed off. And so it's like, you know, if they're closed off, if they're like away from you or distant from you or don't have access to you, then yeah, they have no idea how you're going to feel or take this. Maybe they're holding on to the, the real feelings that they have for you. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. There's the moon. Yeah, I feel like their feelings are buried. And I also feel like, look at this energy, the moon and the high priestess, same energy, secrets, mystery, what's hidden. I feel like this person, it's almost like a catch-22. They're not opening up because you're not opening up. Or they're not communicating because you're not communicating. And so nothing gets done. <laughs> we, we stay in the same boat or the same situation, right? Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Are they hoping to communicate, say something? What's going on with this Queen of Swords? Because this Queen of Swords, I don't know. They definitely wouldn't be this energy of like mystery, lack of clarity, secrets. That's not Queen of Swords behavior. The Queen of Swords is very direct. They cut right through the BS. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? king of pentacles i think this is what they want to be tell me about the queen of swords it's like they're trying to match your energy here tell me about the queen of swords king of cups king of <laughs> which which version will get your attention this is what i'm seeing here king of pentacles king of cups king of wands i am working on myself i am a king like energy mature there's wisdom, knowledge in all of the lessons that I've learned. That's king energy. I think that they're trying to prove themselves to you. And they're, they're like, which one would make you more interested? Do you want someone that's open with their heart, with their emotions? Do you want a go-getter? Do you want someone passionate? Do you want someone careful and stable? Like, which is it, Aquarius? I will be that person. Tell me about the king of cups. Nowhere here do I see any sort of action or communication, um, which is interesting. Tell me about the King of Wands. I mean, not the King of Wands, the King of Cups, sorry. Tell me, there's so many kings here. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Five of Wands. Why is the King of Cups? Yeah, the Tower. So this is what happened between you. I feel like this person still cares despite the conflict, the drama that happened between you. It was a tower moment, Aquarius. And if you already know what that tower moment is, then of course let me know down in the comments um, if you fear like sharing. But the star at the bottom of the deck, there's your energy here, Aquarius. And it's also an energy of healing, hope, and faith. It's almost like this person, despite what's happened, they still have hope that this can be fixed, that this can be repaired, healed, etc. Let's get one more energy for them. Can I get one more energy for this individual that Aquarius is has or will be dealing with? 
What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energy towards Aquarius? And it could be that this deception is what, yeah, what they haven't said. I wish I could tell you how I feel. They, they don't feel like they can tell you. Tell me one, one more, please, for this person's energy. Nothing compares to our connection. I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Yeah, they lost their chance to be open and honest with you. And it could very well be, I don't know. They're realizing now that they can't compare what you had together to anything that they're experiencing or have been experiencing lately. You are unique, Aquarius. There's no one like you. And it's like, I think that that is messing with their head a little bit because they found one person that they felt a strong bond with, a strong connection with, and they ruined it. It's all my fault. They know that this is all their fault. But I really feel like in their mind, they can never come forward and tell you how they feel. Especially if they're blocked. If they're blocked, they, they obviously can't contact you. So they wouldn't be able to tell you even if they wanted to. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. This is how your person is currently thinking, feeling their energies toward you. I have to say, I don't see any action on them at this time. Um, that could change in the future. I feel like there's too much of the unknown here. Too much fear and doubt over you know the secrecy it's, it's almost like there there's like um there's too much hidden to really go forward with anything is what i see right now um but you never know that could change in the future i feel like this person's waking up slowly to this um reality you know because if they want the ace of wands ace of cups there's really only one way to get that done so I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Uh, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.